On this episode of The A-Frame, we head to Bellacoola, B.C. along Highway 20 to do battle with... The Hill. Whoa! You'll also see... Black Bears. Grizzlies. This professional black bear who is just outstanding in his field. Waterfalls. More waterfalls. This dancing bear. Me hiking. And fishing. This random gate. The Nasadam River Forest Service Road. And this cuddly character. <gasps> On the way, we make a stop at Tatlioko Lake, one of the most stunning locations in British Columbia I have ever camped at. It was unusual to see this bear in the middle of a field on such a hot day. Here we are arriving at our campsite on the north end of Tatlioko Lake in an absolutely stunning location right on the beach. setting up my Rockwood A122S ESP A-Frame camper. This is the off-road version and it is lifted, has larger tires and is great for pulling on four service and dirt roads. The 9x9 clamshell shelter tent sure is a godsend to have in that area. Keep away all the noceums and mosquitoes and wasps that we're trying to get at us. A small creek flows into the north end of Tatlioka Lake where we were camping. This is a great spot to do some fly fishing. It's great once camp is all set up and you can finally get into some relaxation. Yep, that water sure was cold, but on this hot day, it sure was nice. There were plenty of small rainbow trout to be caught, not that large a size, and I'm mostly a catch and release guy anyway, so it didn't matter, it was just good fun. The next morning, the Canada geese, the loons, and even some sandhill cranes woke me up early. But it sure was worth it getting a chance to see this sunrise. Right after breakfast, I had to try my hand at fly fishing again. There was a hatch of caddisflies coming off the lake just at the mouth of the creek. They were jumping and I was catching. It was great. Driving into Balakula on Highway 20 is an amazing experience. The road can be challenging for some. The road includes 11 kilometers of switchbacks on the way up to Heckman Pass, nicknamed as the Hill. Whoa! is about 5,000 feet above sea level. Now the road descends 43 kilometers of steep narrow road with sharp hairpin turns and a few switchbacks to the Bellacoola Valley. But if you've got a truck of any kind and you've done any kind of back road driving at all, you can just eat this thing for breakfast. It's just a simple matter of putting it into the low gear, very few brakes applied, and you can pull the biggest of trailers up and down this hill. We've seen large semis go up this thing, we've seen big trucks pulling large boats, and we've seen huge motorhomes on this. So yeah, you know, it can be a little hair raising for a few, but just go slow and you'll be just fine. At the bottom of the hill, you'll find the Tweedsmere Park Lodge, an international destination. Here we find the grizzly bear viewing platform over the Adnarco River and a random gate that just had to be gone through. There were plenty of pink salmon in the river, but the grizzlies hadn't discovered them just yet. Further down the Adnarco River is the fisheries pool campground and this wonderful fishing hole filled with pink salmon. At 
end of Highway 20, as you pass through Bella Coola and BC Ferries Terminal, is Clayton Falls. Clayton Falls Creek empties into the ocean near the BC Ferries Terminal and the boat docks. The Bella Coola River flows down the Bella Coola Valley and at this time of year it was filled with chum and pink salmon. This little side road leading to a fishing spot on the Bella Coola River is pretty typical of small little back roads in the area. The clear flowing Salunk River flows into the Bella Coola River. There were so many pink salmon and chum salmon in this river, I didn't even know where it cast next. They were just literally bumping into my feet. I hooked into quite a few chum salmon in this pool including this one, where you could see the pink fly in the corner of its mouth. While fishing in the same pool, this black bear came down the hill not 30 feet in front of me and gave me a bit of a surprise. <gasps> Apparently it had no interest in me and it looked like it was fishing. I thought it was safe to keep on fishing until this grizzly bear shows up, not five minutes after the black bear came by. By the time I captured this video, I had already gotten out of the river and hightailed it up to the road. That was it. Fishing was over for the evening. The next evening, while fishing in the same location, I heard a loud huffing sound and looked over my shoulder and not a hundred feet away a grizzly bear had just entered in the river and had announced itself that it was coming in. I didn't think it was wise to stick around too long, but I was fortunate enough to grab this one photo. Again, fishing was over for the evening. <coughs> On one of our days, we decided to take a hike at Odegaard Falls Trail. To get there, just off of Highway 20 is the Nisadam River for service road east of Bella Coola. The road crosses the Nisadam River on several occasions as it winds its way down the valley. I couldn't help but think how this might have happened on the bridge. Hopefully it wasn't some poor soul who drove into the river below. After nearly two and a half hours, we had only gone 21 kilometers. Nearing our destination, the river drops quickly and becomes ever more scenic. Nearly three hours after starting off, we finally made it to our destination, the Nasada River Recreation Site and the Odegaard Falls Trailhead. Wild blueberry and raspberry bushes greeted us at the trailhead entrance.
The start of the trail was quite buggy, so a bug hat was a real necessity. This small creek crossing was a real challenge. The bridge over the creek was marked with a big no someone had written on it. It had seen better days for sure. Halfway across the log, I decided it was way too risky to continue. When that voice inside your head screams at you to not continue on your path, you better listen. Just downstream, a few easy steps across the rocks, was a much better option. This truly was a magical forest to hike in. When you get to the small footbridge, the view of Odegaard Falls opens up and it is spectacular. This easy 45 minute hike is definitely worth the drive up. Using my Gaia GPS software on my computer, I took a 3D snapshot of the Nisadam River Forest Service Road from an aerial perspective. At the top of this image you can see the pink line which represents the Odegaard Falls Trail where you can see the falls right on the far left side near the very top. Again using Gaia GPS in 3D mode I can zoom in and follow the road all the way up to the Odegaard Falls Trail. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more of my back road travels in BC, the Yukon and the Northwest Territories, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. My name is Karsten Arnold and for the past 25 years I've been exploring the back roads of BC, the Yukon and starting next year the Northwest Territories on an epic two month journey to the Arctic Ocean. Oh, and here's the dancing bear stealing apples from a tree. Whoa!